The Fivefold Ministers in Church Multiplication A Biblical Interpretation The New Testament describes five kinds of workers, who lead Christian churches, to grow in numbers and in quality. The ascended Christ gave some as apostles, some as prophets, some as evangelists, and some as pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, that is, to build up the body of Christ. The Greek timeless aorist tense, may be translated as gives Apostles make new disciples and start new churches, in regions and communities that have none. Prophets proclaim the truth about the Most High, His laws and His grace, where folk are ignorant. Evangelists recount the life, death and resurrection of Jesus, to willing seekers who need to repent. Pastors provide wise leadership and compassionate care within communities of Jesus' followers. Teachers help Jesus' followers make needed change in their life, in obedience to Jesus' commandments. Apostles make new disciples and start new churches, in regions and communities that have none. An apostle extends churches into neglected regions and communities. An apostle requires vision, mission, courage and endurance. An apostle's skills include team formation, evangelism, church planting and leader formation. An apostle initiates outreach, spiritual warfare, mobilizes and empowers workers, plans all phases. An apostle's goal remains new disciples, churches, leaders and apostles. An apostle may sin by showing favoritism, exploiting for gain, disallowing new workers. Prophets proclaim the truth about the Most High, His laws and His grace, where folk are ignorant. A prophet strengthens new believers in their faith and obedience. A prophet requires insight, revelation and compassion. A prophet's skills include prayer, hearing from God. Bible knowledge and persuasion. A prophet speaks to strengthen, comfort and edify new believers to remain faithful to Christ and one to another. A prophet's goal remains to hear from God, make faithful disciples, warn of coming dangers. A prophet may sin by condemning the immature, or by repeating old ideas. Evangelists recount the life death and resurrection of Jesus, to willing seekers who need to repent. An evangelist expands churches in a region and community, by winning others. An evangelist requires passion, power and confidence. An evangelist's skills include tactics, miracles, storytelling, persuasion and baptism. An evangelist initiates continual effort to penetrate homes baptize the repentant, and launch new churches. An evangelist's goal remains believers continually making new believers and disciples. An evangelist may sin by reporting false gains, fake miracles, or seeking financial advantage. Pastors provide wise leadership and compassionate care, within communities, of Jesus' followers. A pastor leads churches in developing their ministries and in training workers. A pastor requires purpose, goals, skills and knowledge. A pastor's skills include group dynamics, organization, exhortation and counseling. A pastor identifies members' gifts and plans ministry around them, in generational chains. A pastor's goal remains raising up new leaders for new ministries and new churches. A pastor may sin by stealing sheep, disallowing new leaders, or seeking undue authority. Teachers help Jesus' followers make needed change in their life, 
in obedience to Jesus' commandments. A teacher matures churches in their faith, hope, love, obedience and outreach. A teacher acquires clarity, knowledge, and conviction. A teacher's skills include analysis, teaching, problem solving, and biblical application. A teacher steps in wherever invited to discern needs, propose solutions, teach doctrine and defend the faith. A teacher's goal remains sound faith, consistent obedience to Christ. A teacher may sin by pedantry, neglect of scripture, or criticizing the other four gifts. Roughly a fifth of believers has an apostolic gift, another fifth a prophetic gift, one fifth an evangelistic gift, a fifth a pastoral gift, and a final fifth a teaching gift. Thus, your church has all the resources it requires to make disciples and to start new churches.